Here we go, here we go. Hey, new drug presentation. Uh, we only have like, what, four weeks of school left until graduation, but we can do this. Uh, my drug is called Splice, also known as Ivermectin. Uh, my name is Jeremy Pastor, and here's a picture of Splice coming in the tube bottle. So here we go. Drug classification indications. Splice, also known as Ivermectin, is classified as a pediculicide to treat lice infestations through topical application to the head. This drug is meant for clients who are at least six months old. Sclice comes in a lotion form that is applied on the head after you wash and dry it. This drug should not be ingested, placed in the eye, or inserted vaginally. So you apply the lotion over the dry hair in a sufficient amount that evenly coats the dry scalp and hair. After 10 minutes, rinse the lotion off with water and throw away any leftovers remaining in the tube. You see, Sclice is for single use per bottle, so you shouldn't be reusing it again from the same bottle. Mechanism of action. You see, Sclice comes from the Avermectin class, which kills parasites. The mechanism of action is by selectively binding to glutamate gated chloride channels, that's a big word, glutamate gated chloride channels within the nerve and muscle cells. When they bind, the cell membrane becomes permeable to chloride ions, which cause hyperpolarization to the cells, leading to death for the parasites. When looking at the pharmacodynamics of Splice, unfortunately, it is unknown. However, the pharmacokinetics was tested, this is how they tested the pharmacokinetics, on 20 patients between 6 months to 3 years old for a 2 week time frame. 13 of these clients weighed less than 16 kilograms apparently, and a single topical treatment of ivermectin was given to each subject. The lotion was effective in getting rid of head lice in get these percentages, 96.7% of subjects on day 2, 89.7% on day 8, and 89.3% on day 15. So as you can tell, from day 2 through day 15, it gradually decreased, but 96.7% of subjects were already rid of lice. And they didn't count it rid of lice unless there was absolutely no lice, or not a single lice in their hair. Drug and food, or uh, drug or food interactions. The drug interactions have not been fully evaluated by the sponsor, but there has not been any significant inhibition of the following me um, metabolizing activities, such as I list here uh, CYP1A2, CYP2C9. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You can read uh, what they say there. Uh, based on comparing a cross study of different analytical methods, drug to drug interactions for ivermectin are highly unlikely to occur after topical treatment. So that's a good thing. Possible adverse effects include, but are not limited to, eye soreness or irritation, dry or burning sensation of skin and dandruff. Other, um, other adverse effects that are more serious include ataxia, dyspnea, abdominal pain, contact dermatitis, seizure, and paresthesia. Let's see, um, nursing implications. This is considered a pregnancy category C. So Sclice should only be used if the potential benefit outweighs the risk of the fetus. Splice is not considered safe for children under six months of age, as we mentioned before, but this is because of higher systemic absorption related to high ratio of body mass to skin surface area. Then uh, there is a chance for toxicity due to immature skin barrier for these children that are young than, younger than six months old. When evaluating the effectiveness of Splice, um, Two identical multi-center, double-blind, randomized control studies were done on patients who had head lice and were at least six months old. Each person either received one bottle of Splice or a placebo, 
without the use of a knit comb. The total amount of individuals studied were 289. After a single dose, the efficiency of the drug was measured by seeing which subjects were free of lice on day 2 through 8. If someone had at least one live lice during the final evaluation of 14 days, they were considered as a failure of treatment. Less than 1% of the patients had adverse effects. That's a very small percentage. The following table, as you can see here, displays these results. 76.1% and 71% were treated from their lice using the Sklice versus those who only got the placebo were only 16 and 18%. Here is my references and I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching.